Here is some of our supplemental feed. We went to the bread store yesterday. Got two carts of bread. Here, six, six fifty a cart, something like that. I don't know, six dollars I think. And then we also stopped by the grocery store and they had all these pumpkins. They've got more, but I, I bought twenty of them. They still wanted a dollar piece. I couldn't talk them down off of that, but. Uh, these will be good for feeding the pigs or the chickens. I might try them on the goats. The goats are finicky about stuff. I think I gave them pumpkin last year and they didn't really, weren't really too crazy about it. But anyway, this will save some of our feed cost because I can give the pigs a pumpkin every other day. And uh, so 20 pumpkins will last the, rest the, the whole month of November. Uh, plus, I'll give them some bread. We went and got deer corn. Got three sacks of deer corn, and we got a sack of uh, chicken scratch, or what they call scratch grains on there, which I think was uh, corn chops, uh, millet, and oats. So that that'll be a pretty good uh, ration for uh, the goats when they need it and the chickens and the pigs they'll all get it and I've got it soaking and I'll take you over here and show you uh, the grain that's soaking. This is all the grains mixed together. We filled this up. It was filled to this line yesterday and you can see you can't even see the water. It's all wet. So we'll let it soak a couple of days, ferment a little bit and sprout probably have to add some more water to it. That pan is what I'll scoop it out with. Anyway, it'll take it a couple of days to get where it's sprouting and, and fermented. But, uh, they'll really enjoy this. And it's good for them because there's a variety of grains and when it soaks and sprouts, as I've said in a previous video, uh, it adds nutrients to it they get more protein out of it and uh, more other nutrients whenever it's soaked. So I've got this tote, tub, whatever you call it, that uh, I bought a few of these before we moved and I had my jars packed away. Well I emptied this one out because I've been canning and decided to use it for the uh, grain so we can soak grain in it. It's right next to the cabin, easy access right here. And uh, between, we put a third of a bag of the scratch in there and one bag of deer corn. So the deer corn is 40, a 37 and a half pound bag and a third of a bag of the scratch is, uh, the scratch is 50 pounds. So, I don't know, 16, 18 pounds anyway, whatever that figures out to. And, uh, uh. They'll, they'll get some of that every day. Uh, well, I'll give that to them on the days that I don't give the pigs pumpkins. Then everybody will get some scratch grains. But, I mean, the chickens will still get it. The goats will get to come out on their chains and graze. And then I'll supplement their diet with bread. They're gaining weight pretty good just eating the grass. But uh, they do love the bread. So, the, and the bread helps fatten them up a little bit. It's going to be cold. It's already cloudy today. 